The following was recorded in front of a live studio audience at the Studio 21 Podcast Cafe. This is the United Podcast Network. It's time for a crunch or two. It's time for a little something something. It's time for the Snack Authority. The Snack Authority. The authority on snacks. Snacks of all kinds. From the most common and wildly famous to the most obscure and unknown. The Snack Authority. Snacking all the time so you don't have to. Hey guys, and welcome back to the Snack Authority, broadcasting live from the Studio 21 Podcast Cafe. The Snack Authority is a weekly podcast where we dig into the history, taste, and flavor of local snacks, national favorites, and yes, even some bizarre or international treats. Alone? or in head-to-head battles. I am Jess, and with me, my panel of experts, we have Pat. Welcome back. Good morning. Hi there. In our Ed. Hello. Besi- behind the scenes snacking, so you can't see the crumbs, which is nice. <laughs> Today, we are having coffee crisp bars. Whoa. Yeah, I'm pretty excited about this. So it's something I've never tried. Um, it's in a couple of different languages, which we were looking at the back of, and these, I think, are from Canada, but they look like they're Dutch. They're from Canada. We're going to get into the whole history. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, yeah. It's going to be exciting. So this one already advertises, makes a nice light snack. Mm. Um, and there's four bars in here. So it's a, I don't know if you can see it in the picture. If you guys are watching, it's its really fun, like a yellow packaging. And a lot of our candies lately have been having yellow packaging. Maybe it makes you hungry. I don't know. It's bright and cheerful. Just like the snack is going to be. Ooh, it's child-proof or dress-proof. <laughs> But Can it's you kind get of it? We're dying to have some. I know. Oh, look, they're pretty, they're individually wrapped. Oh, oh, you smart people. Nice. Look how cute as a button these are. Let's get do I get up. one too? Of course you do. Whoa, thank you. Oh. That's my exercise so I can indulge. It, it doesn't feel hard. light. You no. know what? I think they mean light on the palate. Nobody wants to get a very light treat bar, and this is this is pretty gorgeous, actually. So it's a, like a gold yellow. With a darker orange kind of swirl through it to look like the coffee steam, I guess. Original Crack. recipe. Cracking them. All right. You can actually, it smells good when you just crack open the package. Mm. But it's a firm rectangle bar. It looks a lot like, um, I don't know, what would you say? Like a smoother Milky Way? I don't know. Let's see if we can get a shot of that, Jess. You can show the... Are you stopping my face? No, the inside of that. Look at that. Mm-hmm. So there's layers of wafer with a fluffy kind of maybe creamy wafer part. Yeah. What does it remind you of? Crisp. Kit Kat. Yeah. I'm looking at I'm looking at Eddie's. Yeah. yeah. So <clears throat> let me tell you about it. The bar originated in the United Kingdom in the 1930s as a chocolate chocolate bar named Roundtree's Wafer Crisp. Roundtree Wafer Crisp? I like it. At a later point, it was renamed Chocolate Crisp, mm-hmm. which was introduced to Canadians as Bisque Crisp. Now, do you know where the Kit Kat came from originally? Roundtree's. Uh, did you? Uh-huh. I think you did. Did you mention that on the yeah. Kit Kat episode? So, uh, Full circle. Yeah, I mean, this definitely, let's say it shares some DNA with the Kit Kat, because the Kit Kat was originally introduced as the Chocolate Crisp. Mm-hmm. And if you've ever had the Kit Kat Chunky, which is, you know, something that's size. more this size, yeah. it, there are striking similarities. Very now, similar. In 1938... The coffee variation was added to the line of flavored bisque crisps, as they were known. Back in those olden days, they actually had fruit flavors as well. Really? Really? I kid you not. She was. Strawberry, blueberry, peach. Now, Happiness. as we mentioned on the Kit Kat episode, in 1988, Nestle acquired Brown Trees, including its Canadian operation mm-hmm. and the Toronto Chocolate Factory, where this bar is produced. And as of 2014, the product is marketed by Nestle Canada. This is, ooh, this is good. It's seriously good, I it's think. It's the smooth chocolate that has that quick finish. With the crunch, though, I'm getting a lot of texture. And there's a touch of coffee with that chocolate to make everything That's more it. intense. It's the coffee in it that does it. Oh, wow. It's a Kit Kat with coffee. So it's a Kit Kat on steroids. This mm. is a good size for this bar because you're getting nice a nice ratio of things. I'm all about the ratio 
Well, oh wow. And I see why they say light with the crisp wafer mm -hmm. bars, but oh, yeah, it's really on the finish of it where the coffee the, kicks in. There's a bunch oh, yeah. of layers in there mm -hmm. of different ingredients. The wafer, there's a layer of something there. Chocolate it's cream. It's like a cream. Maybe that's where the coffee lives. The oh, coffee, wow. Coffee's living through all <laughs> yeah. <my> palate. <laughs> this, this is ridiculously good. Well, you know what I'm going to do, Jess? Uh, not take the last one and leave it with me? <laughs> no, but I found a commercial. No way. For Coffee Crisp, and I think you're going to like it. So, so, how do you like your coffee? Crisp. You like your coffee crisp. I like my coffee crisp. Oh, I'm supposed to laugh now. You don't know from jokes. You never did. Well, excuse me for leaving. Ah, oh, face it, dear. You're no Jane Rivers. Well, it's your opinion. Coffee crisp makes a nice, light snack. So, so. So? These are so good, and you're that so, commercial was so good. You're no Jane Rivers. I'm no Jane Rivers. No. <laughs> this is how I like my coffee as well, crisp. It really is a delight, I would say. These are wonderful. The chocolate is right, that little touch of coffee. And good for you, Nestle. They are very difficult to acquire outside of Canada. Really? really? Yeah, you can find Amazon. Everything's on Amazon. Well, I hope but so. They would tend to be pricey. We could start a movement. Mm -hmm. Maybe right to Nestle, right. although Kit Kat, as we mentioned on the episode, is mm -hmm. controlled by Hershey in the USA. So I don't know how that would all play in. Everybody should play well with each other. Just I'm bring delicious, eat. right? Yeah, share the, share the love. But I would have a Kit Kat, I would have this. It's not taking away from either one of them. I'll probably have them at the same time. I'm I'm just like that. Wow. I'm a professional. Back and forth. Back and yes, back and forth. Mm -hmm. The crunch is very nice on this. I like the texture. Mm hmm It is a a good quality chocolate on the outside. Mm-hmm. It's got some creaminess. Because yeah. you prefer you don't really I like the UK chocolate. Exactly. So this is this is basically this is Ed closer, Sullivan as yeah. a Kit Kat. Oh my god, I love this. This is beautiful. I've never had one before. I haven't either, and it's a shame that we can't get everything everywhere. You'd think the snackers would want the love shed. Oh, yeah. All you need is love and snacks. Now you can go to a restaurant after dinner and say, would you like a coffee? And say, no. I'll have a coffee cream. I'll have a coffee cream. <laughs> <laughs> how do you like your coffee? Crisp. Crisp. <laughs> now you know the answer, right? That's exactly how many, nobody's going to get it but me. That's okay. Yeah. You'll just laugh. Oh, how you'll laugh. Oh, how, yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't be the first time somebody looked at me sideways talking snacks, regular conversation. This is beautiful. Mine's holding together really well. I don't know about you, but mm -hmm. in the package, there's really no flaking, no breaking. Oh. It's outstanding. Outstanding. Yeah. Gee whiz. Well, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to tell you some news while you're enjoying your bars. Yes, please. So People Magazine came out with some snack awards. Really? They did. And um, the Ferrara Candy Company, mm -hmm. their Black Forest Gummy Bears were named Best Gummy Candy by the editors of People Magazine. Good for them. Yeah, and the gummies uh, also won Product of the Year Award in Sugar Confections earlier this year. Maybe we'll have to sample those, huh? If you win more than one award, it's almost like we have to. Yeah. And Mars Wrigley, their M&M's Crispy Milk Chocolate Bars. Mm -hmm. Those, uh, you know, have mini candy-coated chocolates embedded in the candy bar. Which, Saw them in the store. Yeah, we haven't sampled those yet mm -hmm. either. They were named um, top in the candy bar category. Specifically the, the Crispy? Because they have the M&M, they have the regular. This says M&M's Crispy Milk Chocolate Bars. We should definitely try those. Okay, we'll yeah. put that on the list. And Come up. <laughs> another winner is something we've tried already. The Fudge Covered Oreos were named oh, the yeah. top new cookie. Yeah. Although, I think we preferred the Fudge Covered Ritz Crackers, but then is it a cookie? Uh, oh, <clears throat> that, was the, that was the debate, though. Oh, I it's know. It's a cracker. It, is it was a, definitely delicious. Oh, 100%. But, you know, there were other winners. Hershey Company's Crave Jerky 
the cracked peppercorn gourmet beef cuts? I think I did try those on my own. Did you? Mm-hmm. And what did you think? They were tender. They were good, but they, were, they weren't what you think of as jerky. Like, I expect the pull and the bite. These ones were very tender pieces mm-hmm. of meat. And another one we've sampled, the Doritos Flaming Hot Nacho was named Best Tortilla Chip. Amen. And Snyder Lance's Cape Cod Wave Sea Salt were the best potato chip. Hmm. I don't know that I've tried those, but I, I think I'm going to give Cape them a shot. Cape Cod Sea Salt, the wavy. the wavy. I didn't try the wavy. I've never tried a wavy Cape Cod. Mm-hmm. Cape Cod makes a mean, sweet mesquite bobby. Well, though. they got some waves going on, too, which mm-hmm. makes sense with Cape Cod. Cape Cod, they have <laughs> waves. Yeah, I mean, you'd think they'd all be waves, right? right? And in other snack news, Jelly Belly has revealed a Toy Story 4 line. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> The grab-and-go packs, gift boxes, and one-ounce bags featuring a license from Toy Story 4. Five-flavor assortment gift boxes feature artwork of Woody, Buzz Lightyear, Bo Peep, and Forky, the newest character in the franchise. What's the last one? Do you say five? It says five, but they list four. Maybe we're the last character. Oh, my gosh. (laughs) I like that. I like it, too. And then um, what's coming up on Monday, Jess? I think that's National Chocolate Day, isn't it? I thought every day was National Chocolate Day. Well, it should be, right? I would say so. That's the official holiday. So when it's a national holiday, I feel like it's your American duty to eat as much chocolate as you can on National Chocolate Day. It's not National Chocolate Day. What day is it, Jess? The Monday? Yeah, Monday is something. I'm going to find out. It's not my birthday. Are you sure? Monday after the 4th? Monday after the 4th. Which is National Chocolate Day. Maybe if I had another Coffee Crisp bar, I would. it would jog my memory. You're going to steal that last one, right? I'm definitely going to steal that last one. Ed, I've got this left and it's going over here. (laughs) (laughs) Are you guys going to fight on it? Oh, no. No, that's why I kept this over here. See, I was mistaken. It's even bigger than that. It's World Chocolate Day. World World Chocolate. Chocolate. Well, we have tried world. World Chocolates. I mean, mm-hmm. we've tried the ones um, with the different percentages of uh, chocolate to make them darker chocolate. Yeah. Um, those were excellent. I'd say it's experiment chocolate day. Try something that's something you wouldn't normally try. Yeah, you look pretty happy over there. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Just for fun, let's rate this on a scale of 1 to 100. On 1 to 100? This would hit a 98 for me. I was thinking 97. This is a really yeah. good... Candy bar. I'm gonna do a little bit better. Ninety nine. Whoa. Yowza. Because I will not give a hundred. There are very There's few things perfect. that hit up except right. for you. Well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but I'd, I'd give this. So this is a solid ninety eight. I mean, that's impressive. This is a really good treat. This is one of the best snacks we've had on the show. I would agree with you. I uh, would a hundred percent agree. I mean, those raspberries were pretty darn good, too. Let's go to both. Those were a perfect hundred. <laughs> you get the chocolate in here, you get the coffee, but it's not overpowering. Mm-mm. So people that don't drink coffee, you could have this and like it. Yeah, and it wouldn't be an overwhelming right. one-note one flavor. This is multi-layered flavor on top of a beautiful texture with a smooth finish of chocolate. Yeah, it's subtle. If people didn't tell you what it was, you'd take a bite and you'd have to pause and right. think, mm-hmm. what's that? Oh, it's coffee. Because coffee and chocolate play so well together. That's why you always have dessert with a coffee. They got this thing, what do they call it? Mocha? Mocha, mocha yep. yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. So <laughs> it's a whole thing. Chocolate. But this is just a touch. I feel like mocha, you can taste the coffee, you can taste the chocolate. It's true. And this, I, I really do get it on the finish of it. Mm-hmm. The coffee kind of comes forward on the finish. It's yeah. delightful. If you guys want to try this, check online. If you happen to be going up to Canada, give it a shot. It's called Coffee Crisp. You will not regret it. Highly recommended by the Snack Authority. Hard 98. Thanks, guys, for watching. If you uh, don't already know about where to find us, look us for us online. You can let your snack-eating friends know about us. Share us, subscribe to us, give us a five-star rating. If you have any ideas of different things that we may not have seen before, like our coffee crisps, please let us know at thesnackauthority at gmail.com. Thank you so much, guys. We'll see you next week. For Ed, Pat, and me, Jess, have a wonderful week. The views and opinions expressed by the hosts, guests, or callers of this program do not necessarily reflect the opinions of the Studio 21 Podcast Cafe, the United Podcast Network, its partners or affiliates.